Hey everyone, it's Lisa and today is Wednesday. Happy hump day. Today I thought I would do just a little like mini review of our new sofa and I keep forgetting to mention John's new recliner. It doesn't look that different but at least it's it's dark brown. I feel like it's a better color and there's no kitty marks on it yet. I'm sure there will be and it looks like he's got the headrest like it's got like some buttons on the side that you can adjust it's got the lumbar support and then it's got the electric um you know foot footstool footrest and it does still rock because i don't know to me that's i want to rock when i'm sitting there so that has been great matter of fact let me get my phone so i can tell you exactly which one that is and if there's any details Okay, so here we go that is i remember when i was talking because i didn't just order this stuff online i actually called and spoke to a customer service rep and i asked her what was the best selling best review recliner that you know it had taken a long time for me to get my husband to give up his recliner and where's there was there one that was really good and that is the best selling one and it was $7.95 so that's really not that bad. It is the Devon, I believe, chocolate power recliner with power headrest and lumbar. And it was, like I said, $7.95. And then the sofa, I think you can see it all here, is the Utopia sofa. And this sofa is very popular because it is kind of not really a dupe for the restoration hardware, but it is, I think Restoration Hardware made that cloud sofa. Everyone loved it. So now other companies like West Elm has a really good one. I was choosing between this one and the one from West Elm. And the reason I went with this one is because it had such good reviews and because I was watching uh, Tenny and she has this and she loves it and she was saying just how good it was that she had sat on the restoration hardware sofa and she loved this one okay so this is the caitlin flax you can get lots of different you know colors and covers but this is the caitlin flax and that is kind of like what they're it comes in that I think like I think they have these in stock a lot and everything else is kind of like an upgrade but here is the kicker I was supposed to get this within six weeks I believe and let me tell you when I ordered it I looked it up okay order confirmation was on May 14th is when I got the order confirmation it was delivered on July 9th so it took a little while and I know that's probably normal but not for me normally I just go to a furniture store and I get something or the last one I ordered from Wayfair but I have to say it was so worth it so worth it even John says I have to admit I love that sofa I can't believe it because I'll put a picture in here when it got here they delivered it, I paid them to take the, gave them tips to take our chair, and they just kind of left it here. So when John came home, it was just in the plastic. And so we had to take it out, and this is what it looks like. Let me take all of the cushions off. Oh, they're heavy, and they're very, like, you know, heavy and soft, just like, I don't know, just really nice like down or something it's not like cheap filling you know they're really soft but and then this is the barefoot dreams blanket that I got I don't know if I got this last year or the year before but this is what I've been putting on here because Bubba has been here every day I can't believe he went and got on the bed but normally he is on this every day and I just didn't want cat hair and when he cleans all the leaves and everything, I just didn't want it to get dirty, but I will go into that a little bit more in a little bit. So here is the sofa. And let me just lay on it just to give you an idea of how big it is. So my heels are to this end and my fingertips just touch this. So it is a, it's a pretty long sofa. 
and then look how wide it is. Oh, I love it, you guys. It feels so good. There's just something about the way it feels. It's just awesome. Two cushions, and they're very sturdy. Like, they don't, like, move around or get separated or anything. And then, so you just take these that are very heavy. So that's your back. And these do have zippers on them, so you can take them off and clean them. And then the ends, you know, they kind of just lay over the edges like that. So it's kind of like, you know, that sloppy look, but in a neater way, I think. And so let me see, let me just show you how much room you have when you sit on it. I mean, like Brooke, Will, no, myself, Will, and Brooke sit on here all the time, and then John sits in his chair, and we're either, we either talk or just watch TV. Now, the next thing is, this is not as white as I thought it was gonna be, but I love that. Matter of fact, I love the color. It is a very, let me pick it up and show you. Yeah. So it's got like a variation of, it's kind of like manila paper or, you know, it's really nice looking. So it doesn't show every little spot. One thing I was kind of surprised about is I thought it was going to be like a softer fabric, but it is kind of like, at first I thought, oh no, I might not like this. I felt like it might be a little bit, here, let me change you. Anyway, I was, um, afraid that it was going to be too rough but it feels good and i was thinking of a way i could describe it to you do you guys know like when you're walking outside how when you're walking on your driveway barefooted it feels fine but when you come in the garage and you're on that slick cement floor i was going to say cement cement floor it feels weird because it's almost too slick that's how this is it almost feels good because it's a little bit rougher and it doesn't bother me hey you know doesn't bother me at all they all love it let me put this down here and so i'm hoping during the sale that they're going to have these blankets on sale because i want to get the one that is this color to put on there so let me get my phone so I can tell you the other thing I want to tell you. One other thing I wanted to mention is the cats immediately, you know, they were just drawn to it and they have tried to scratch it, especially Sassy. She likes to get on this corner right here and start scratching on it. So I had to really, I have to just fuss at her immediately. And she usually jumps down and then I go, you know, be nice to her. But so I'm having to train them not to scratch on it. And I did buy this little mat from Amazon. There is nothing special about it. I didn't put catnip on it or anything, but they do really go over and scratch on this little mat. So I have kept it over there and that has really helped. You can hear her scratching on it now. Okay, so this is what I wanted to tell you about is I bought the extra care. Let's see, so my total for the recliner and the Utopia sofa and the carefree protection, which is $149.25, the total was $2,075. So that tells you that. And, um, okay, the carefree plan provided by Uniters is a service contract between you, the original purchaser, da, da, da. Okay, the carefree plan um, valid for five years, 10 years for adjustable beds from the delivery date of your new furniture. It is not renewable, not transferable. Um, but what that says, I thought it was going to give me the details here, but what that is, is for five years, whatever gets on it, I can ha call them and they will have someone local come over and professionally clean it. Now, if something happens and I get something on it or the kids do, a cat throws up on it, which could happen. If they can't get it out, Living Spaces will replace it one time in that five years. 
So that's really good because even if you just have to get it cleaned, at least you can get it cleaned. So I am glad I got that because it's a little bit of peace of mind. And I really had not planned on putting him back up there, but oh my goodness, John said, I think you should try him back up there because I had him over here in my room. And when I put him back up there, it was just like magic. I love not having the sconces on the side. When we painted, I got rid of those. And I just think he looks great with the sofa. So I'm real happy about that. And I want to get, matter of fact, I've called to see if it's really truly in stock because they always say these things are in stock and it took so long to get it. But I would love to get the chair to put upstairs in my you know, my room upstairs in case I wanted to go up there and watch TV or just do anything just to have a really comfy chair, but I'm not sure it's going to fit in the doorway. So I need to get John to check on that. And then they do have, I believe, a sectional version that will come out over here, but I just knew I wanted that. I wanted to keep it just open and simple. Like you guys know, I got rid of my coffee table. I already had this little ottoman that I picked up at Home Goods, you know, years ago, and that is perfect. Every time I try to lay down, I have three cats and a dog up there with me, so it's not as comfy. Sometimes I have to wait until they go night-night before I lay down because otherwise I just can't get comfortable. So I hope this answers any questions you may have. I am just 100% satisfied. I think it's awesome. I think you would love it. I think it's worth every penny. I think it was worth the wait. And another thing we just changed is our drapes. We had um, some velvet, like taupe drapes up there and I just ordered those and got them from CB2. And they're real pretty. They're kind of like a gauze. They're a little bit heavier than you know, like your typical linen or sheer and um, I love them so those just are perfect just what I wanted and I think that's it so outfit of the day I just have on one of my little you know dresses from Express I have on that little stretchy metal belt which is everyone should have one of these it is so easy to just put with anything and then I don't know if you can see and then I have on my Bottega Veneta little heels and I actually just got I, I'll try to insert a picture here I actually just got one of the Miranda Fry anklets and I love it I think it looks so pretty with the heels so I'm going to run out and I have to take some stuff to a friend and go see my mom I think I'm going to eat lunch with her and I will see you guys soon probably on Friday bye bye